after the New Year. off the year, you know? Yeah. And if you don't know where to hike, they're going to show you. Yeah, some pretty cool stuff. We have yeah. a lot of trails around the Birmingham area to check out, too, if you're putting that on your to-do list for 2024. And if you're going to be doing a little hiking this weekend, weather's actually going to be pretty good for much of the weekend as well, too. How about a nice, pretty sunset for you in Tuscaloosa this hour? You can see, looking over campus, no problems weather-wise for us here on this Friday evening. Temperatures in Tuscaloosa at 58 degrees with those calm winds. Looking pretty good out there, but a little colder as you go further north in Coleman at 46 53 Asheville to Birmingham now with Alabaster at 57 Talladega coming in at 50 degrees and again if you do a little Christmas shopping here from 6 o'clock to 10 o'clock temperatures falling through the lower 50s into the upper 40s out there but overall dry not too bad just have to be careful we have a lot of traffic out there to deal with us around all those shopping centers so keep that in mind now overnight tonight it'll still be cold out there 42 from Birmingham to Tuscaloosa Jasper Coleman 37 maybe near freezing Asheville Springville area back toward Gas in Rainbow City area getting a little bit of colder weather. Talladega Lincoln area as well. So we are going to see some cold temperatures in the morning, but they're going to have a big warm up in the afternoon. We get up to around 60 at lunchtime and in the mid 60s in the afternoon. I'm calling it a lovely day, but it's those suddenly winds returning. They'll be light, but they're going to have to warm us up out there and that trend will continue as we go forward through the weekend. But how about 66 in Birmingham, Talladega, Alabaster, near 70 in Tuscaloosa, Jasper, you're about 67, mid 60s from Gadsden back to the Anderson area as well too. And for the Birmingham Bowl, great weather this year. Remember last year it was freezing cold. Not the case this year. Troy taking on Duke there at 11 11 a.m. Temperatures 59, warming up to 65 by the fourth quarter. So looking pretty good in Protective Stadium tomorrow morning. Now we will have a few clouds coming in from time to time. You see them kind of waves swinging through the state. Nothing significant with it, just kind of obscuring the sky just a little bit there. That'll get you know, a little front to our west, nothing to it. It'll swing by and kind of fall apart as it does. So there's no really energy with that one. So because of that and high pressure sitting off the eastern seaboard, you have those southerly winds and that's going to help keep us warm through the weekend, even into Christmas Day. In the 60s there before temperatures really plummet latter part of next week. So we have some time there. But remember a year ago, we were bracing ourselves for that cold blast with low temperatures of 9 on December 23rd and 24th, 18 Christmas morning highs. Didn't even get out of the below or above freezing on the 24th. So very cold weather last year. Not going to be the case this year. We're going to have some warmer weather and rainy weather, unfortunately, as we get into Christmas Day, a 90% chance for rain. This is the root of it right here, right near San Diego, Southern California, headed into Phoenix. That system is going to march its way across the southern half of the country and bring us that wet weather. So you'll see throughout tonight into tomorrow that system kind of works its way through into Colorado, bringing them some snow and the trough kind of opens up here and weakens. So it's going to weaken a little bit, which is good news. But you notice here we have quiet weather Saturday. Notice that suddenly flow bringing up those clouds through Saturday evening. Stormy weather back near Oklahoma and Dallas, but not the case here. But as we head into Sunday morning, the weather is dry, but clouds return. Maybe a shower Sunday afternoon for those going to church. But overnight when Santa comes in to Monday morning. There is the rain that'll push off to the east of us here by Monday evening and the front moves through on Tuesday and then eventually cooling us down beyond that time frame. But we can pick up maybe half an inch to an inch of rain across the area as we head throughout the Tuesday time frame. So just keep that in mind. And for Christmas Eve, we're looking at 65 degrees, 30 percent chance of late rain and then Christmas Day, 90 percent chance for rain. Most of that occur in the morning there. Temperatures stay in the 60s on Tuesday, but then that cold air comes in uh, along with some breezy conditions there as we head throughout Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. But again, this weekend, 